Hey guys, James again with TFB TV, and I know what you're thinking, what in the hell am I looking at? No, this isn't H&K's next space age carbine. No, this is not the Rolls Royce of combat carbines. This is the high point 10 millimeter carbine or the 1095. You're also looking at a broken and confused man. Why the hell am I reviewing this gun? This is a high point. I'm a gun snob. I don't review stuff like this. I'll tell you why. A few years ago, one of our sponsors bought me a High Point 380, and I was gonna come out here, have a good time with it. I was gonna crap all over it. I was going to tell you guys how terrible it was, and it was gonna be a laugh, and I wasn't gonna care because it's High Point, right? Well, I did that. I brought it out here, made fun of it, had some laughs, and then I ran the hell out of it. And this was a gun, by the way, that we later found out was 10 or 12 years old. And I ran the hell out of it with 380. I even threw it in the creek back here behind the property, pulled it out, and it ran flawlessly. So at the end of that video, I concluded, do I hate this gun? Well, yeah, kind of. You know, would I own it? Probably not. But good God, for $150, this gun was more reliable than guns that cost three, four, five times as much. It was absolutely incredible, and I have been impressed with High Point ever since. You can't forget about the fact that they've got this insane lifetime warranty on these guns. It seems like whatever you do to them, they'll fix it for you, which is also pretty incredible. So that's why I'm here reviewing the High Point 1095, the budget 10 millimeter carbine, and frankly, it's my privilege to review this. I'm glad the guys at High Point got in touch with me and offered to send one my way. Don't let me down, guys, because you know this thing's going into the creek by the end of the video. But guys, we're not talking about a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce here. We're talking about maybe what the equivalent of an ex-Soviet Comblock tank from like the 70s or 80s. Something that's just next to invincible and it'll just keep running, running, running. But it might not be the most elegant firearm you've ever seen. That said, what would you take? Would you rather have something that looks good or would you rather have something that's gonna run no matter what? And the guys at High Point, they already have your answer for you. Now, is there a way that they could maybe spruce this thing up? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But they don't really need to, do they? As far as features go, what's kind of cool, check this out. There's a spring-loaded buttstock. That's pretty freaking awesome. You also have a pretty nice cheek pad moving forward I can't believe the peep sights on this gun. The rear sight's marked, and the front sight, you have a hooded front sight. Now, it's not easily adjustable. It isn't like click adjustable. You're gonna need a tool to adjust windage and elevation on this sight. You also have about a foot of Picatinny rail along the top of the receiver, and then you've got about six inches of Picatinny rail at the fore end of the gun, and then you even have about another three or four inches of Picatinny rail right under the barrel. You have a threaded barrel with a thread protector, which is also a pretty nice feature in a gun that's this inexpensive. The High Point 1095 has a barrel length of 17 and a half inches, an overall length of 32 inches, a weight of seven pounds, fully adjustable sights, a 10 shot magazine capacity in 10 millimeter. All high point carbines are plus P rated. The barrel threading I mentioned is half by 28. It's got a grip mounted magazine release. It's 100% made in the USA, and it does have a last round bolt hold open. You're looking at an MSRP of 389 bucks for this gun. This is gonna be a pretty popular gun in my opinion. There are a lot of best millimeter fans that are out there looking for the 10 and would love to have a carbine that's shooting heat out of a 17 and a half inch barrel. You can do a lot with that. And check this out guys, the Bushnell T25 series. If you use it without a mount, it actually co-witnesses with the sights on the high point. And that's great because the T25 is probably my favorite red dot sight that's under 300 bucks. Bushnell is a sponsor, they sent this to me, but I've used this, I've absolutely run this thing into the ground and I'm gonna do more of that today and it's been perfect. So that's it for the intro and the specs. Let's go shoot this ugly son of a bitch, huh? All right gang, you guys can see in this general area, I've got a, an A2 target set up, a silhouette target at 50 yards. First shots with the high point 1095 carbine. Let's see what kind of damage we can do from this distance.
Not bad. I'll tell you this, 10 mil is a lot snappier than you think it might be in something like this. I thought this was gonna be like a 22. And it isn't, the recoil isn't all that bad. I really like this buffer. Uh, really, it's, you're getting kind of popped in the face. Um, and they do have a nice little cheek weld, like a soft rubber cheek weld, but you still get a nice little impulse whenever you're shooting this thing. Let's do another mag. Now I'll say this, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but when I pull the charging handle back and try to slide it forward, it's not charging. I give it a little bump and it charges. I don't know if that's the ammo I have, and unfortunately I only have one type of 10 mil ammo. You see what I'm talking about, look. I'm ripping it back as far as I can. Oh, it worked that time, okay. Maybe you just really need to get it all the way back because you, you don't have a lot of runway to get this charging handle all the way back. I mean, it is what it is. I'm here 50 yards making hits on silhouette target all day. I'm gonna try a few shots on these little six inch targets here. See if I can make those hits out at 50 yards using just the iron sights. Again, I've been pretty impressed with the irons on it. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. And I mean, it's shooting flat. That's the nice thing about 10 mil. I mean, 50 yards, it's just point of aim, point of impact. It's shooting really flat. Wow. God damn. That was a fast 50 rounds. Wow. And I'm enjoying myself. They're really offering something that you can't get anywhere else, right? Not many people are making a 10 mil carbine. And 10 mil's so hot right now. So hot. Everybody's doing 10 mil all over again, and that's great. There we go. See that? Of course, the trigger, nothing to write home about. <laughs> trigger reset, non-existent. You just kind of let it out until it stops, and then you pull it again. Um, but, you know, it could be a lot worse, but again, you know, you guys are talking about a very inexpensive gun here. Um, the trigger, the actual trigger face itself is pretty nice. It's kind of the striated pad. It's a little bit larger than what you're used to. Mm, you're one dirty high point 10 millimeter carbine. I think it's time to give you a bath. Let's drive on down to the river. Uh, come on! this thing in this molten creek with a loaded magazine like five or six times so let's see what happens Oop, safety on look it chambered that time are you not entertained can you believe this, guys? Threw this thing into this filthy ass creek about five or six times, pulled it out, still working 100%. And that's why I started to respect High Point. So what can I say about the High Point 1095 10 millimeter carbine that hasn't already been said about Afghanistan? Nah, I'm kidding, of course, little haters ball throwback humor for you guys, but the High Point 10 millimeter carbine 
was pretty dang impressive. I, I didn't think I was gonna say that, but it was pretty dang impressive for the price. That's what you have to mention, of course, when you're talking about High Point. You're not talking about Rolls Royce, right? You're not talking about H and K. You're talking about High Point. But this is a gun that's gonna cost you probably 300 bucks. It's gonna fire 10 millimeter. It's a pistol caliber carbine. And as far as I know, there aren't too many on the market. In fact, right now I can't even think of one. Maybe Chris makes one, but that one's not gonna cost you 300 bucks, right? So the only real issues I have with it, it's heavy, but that's High Point. They're built like tanks. Uh, it's gonna be about as heavy as an AR-15, even though it's a pistol caliber carbine. And of course, I didn't like the, the trigger all that much, but again, $300, guys. The bottom line is, if you want a gun that's reasonably accurate, that's 100% reliable, more reliable than guns that cost five, six, seven times as much, and if you want a gun that's economical, and you're looking for a 10 millimeter carbine, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't at least check out the high point. I, 10 years ago, could not have imagined ever saying what I just said, but it's the truth, and I learned that coming from a skeptical standpoint. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was never a High Point fan. To be perfectly honest, just like I said the last High Point video I did, would I buy this? Perhaps not. But that doesn't stop it from being a really impressive product for the value. It truly outperforms guns that cost five, six, seven times as much. So I wanna say thank you to the guys at High Point for sending me an early copy of one of these to review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the people at High Point are incredible. They have such a good sense of humor about their haters. So salute to you guys at High Point. I wanna say thank you to you for watching as usual. Thank you to all our subscribers. Guys, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. And of course, thank you to Ventura Munitions. I don't have any 10 mil. Ventura Munitions, they sent me some 10 millimeter to use for this test. They're also an awesome company and a great group of people. So thanks again, guys. See you next week.